Hey everyone, this is Toxic Tuna, and we are back playing Life is Strange, Episode 3 Chaos Theory. Now it's time to go check out the principal's office. I, I feel like... I feel like the red binders from um, the end of episode 2 would most likely be inside of Principal Wells' office. I, it looks, I mean, it's organized just like these almost, you know? All we need is red ones. What was that? Oh, look at Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Oh, feed your inner spirit animal. Oh, I can't actually read it? I want to actually read it. Probably be able to learn about the spirit animals in here. I'm kind of wondering if... Really, any of my theories are right. Or if we'll really find out if any of... My theories are right in this episode. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. No, he's not, because nobody likes fucking hipsters. Hunting hat? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. True dat. True dat. Alright, let's see here. Printer, fan, pens... Oh, a letter. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Mrs. Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. Congratulations. I respect your position. Unfairly demonize my plans for the surveillance system with a cowardly petition. Consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. I actually signed the petition against this, against the security cameras, um, but I did it more of just to be nice to Mrs. Grant. In all honesty, in a, in a real situation, I feel like I would have just said okay. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, then what's the big deal? You know what I mean? Whatever, they have security cameras. It might have saved Rachel Amber. It might have saved... Uh, well, I was going to say it might have saved Kate, but... I don't think a security camera can save somebody from suicide, so... Never mind. Was there something... Oh, no. Okay, let's actually help her out now. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. It's a principal. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. <laughs> well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. <laughs> that would probably be a good first step. Oh, okay. Now I can search through everything. Nothing here. Hopefully we can find something other than a key, too. Dead end. Boring. I want to go through these files, damn it. Crap. I want to find out about everybody. Trendy. Oh, we already looked at the trendy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The key rack probably Here are would the have keys. it. None for the principal's office. Nah. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. That's it. I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Am I texting somebody? I'm calling somebody. Hey, Warren, you oh, busy? Oh, man. I was wondering. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. 
What yes, the hell? I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Mm hmm. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Sugar? Soda can? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Are we gonna... Are we gonna make something to blow this shit up? Sodium Chloro, what the fuck? Wait, ah, too much shit. Can I scroll up at all? Okay. Sugar inside of the soda can, something, something else. That's what we're doing. Can I search around more in here? I kind of hate the fact that it didn't give me enough places to look at, but I think... I think everything in here has been searched through, so I think... Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Oh, trash can. What do you know? Trash. Oh. Wow. Go figure. That is literally the last place that I would look. Alright. Where... Oh, I'm just gonna look through all of them. Nothing in it. I'd imagine that half of these things would probably be in the science lab. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. But I don't know. Just emptied. Nothing here. Well, if they let you search through all of them, you'd figure one would have something. Alright, so we checked all over there. Oh, the vending machine. Use. Release the crack can. Oh yeah, that's right, we needed a, a can. It's all mine anyway. I swear that is the... Only three more items to go. That is the Last of Us chime. Then again, I haven't played the Last of Us in a long time, so maybe I'm just hearing shit. I'm gonna check out in the hallway first, and then I'm gonna go through the doors. I'm wondering if any of these... Like, there's a trash can, but you can't search that. Can we go into Kate's? So glad you no. still have your locker, Kate. Yeah, we already did that. So... Can't search that one. Okay, so we looked through all this, so... Okay, let's go into the science room first, and then we'll do Mr. Jefferson. I have a feeling everything should be in here. I mean... I feel like sodium nitrate is probably... Not a very common thing to be lying around. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. How would I would have known that? I I could have swore that that was like just all sodium. I don't. I can't even remember the name of it. Science book. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Toxicity in humans. That's fine. What else? Is there something else there? No. Okay. Oh, weed killer. There we go. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Take it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. That'd probably be a smart idea. Okay. So You're halfway home, Max. Okay, two more things. You still there? Did you blow up? Max. Still here, didn't blow up. I need to concentrate now. T-T-Y-L. What else do I need? Okay. Sugar and duct tape. Okay, both those things could be somewhere other than here. Sugar and duct tape are pretty... Pretty common... Common items. I guess Please I'll turn that off. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if I didn't turn that off. I wonder if that would have affected anything. Like, people would be like... Like, if it would fry him or something. I doubt it. Uh, so... Maybe inside of Mrs. Grant's desk? Can I search that? No. I can search all those other trash cans, but for some reason... All the rest... Oh, what was that? Oh, sugar! How do I... Oh, I gotta get down. Change grade? What? 
You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan. Oh. Every little grade counts. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yes, I like this plus better than that minus. <laughs> Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Oh, God. I should not have done that. I can't Ooh, believe you... Sugar. I can't believe you could just change his... That's... Oh, God. Only one more ingredient left. Okay, so now we need duct tape. Probably in Mr. Jefferson's room for some super freaky uh, bonded shit with Victoria. Stupid, dirty fucking slut. This is like a scene in a horror film. Maybe we'll find something... Something different in here. Well, like, what's this door go to? Is it like a closet? Or just another classroom? We already saw all this stuff, okay. I think. Daniel's a better yeah. illustrator than photographer. Okay. We already saw <laughs> that, Max too. That was critic. Nathan Prescott's photo. Cigarette pack is not duct tape. Hmm. Where would I find duct tape? So, oh, there it is. The tape is mine. I was really hoping. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Kind of really hoping that it was in his desk just so it could be. Oh, weird. <clears throat> a lot of people think that Mr. Jefferson is responsible for a lot of things. He's not as nice as he seems to be. I think that's pretty interesting. I mean, you never know. I mean, who the hell knows? Maybe, like, Warren's a bad guy. It could really be anyone. Pet bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Like, yes! Time to blow shit up! Like, how the fuck does Warren know how to make a pipe bomb? If you'll light the candle? Seriously. It's so cool! Holy Get shit. ready to haul ass. Uh... <laughs> uh... Is this really gonna actually work? Oh, shit! That yeah, it fucking did. So fucking cool! Oh, oh we no. are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Shit. Uh, so what should we do? Should I rewind time and not have done that? Or... Fucking, let's go in. Oh, oh, wait, that's the bathroom. Where do we open? I'm going in, man. Fuck it. I'll just reverse time afterward. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. I swear this asshole's hiding fucking... Oh. What's going on? There's only one way around this. Alright. I hesitated for a while. I have more time. Oh, okay. So, like, we didn't technically bust open the room yet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because she doesn't really get affected by time. Oh, I thought that was an ass. I thought that was a screensaver. Alright. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Why am I not seeing anything to click on? I know I can go to his desk, but I, I want to examine the whole room first. Oh, you, can you hear her picking the lock? I could have swore I heard clicking. Like, is she on the other side wondering, like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, maybe I have to let her in, actually. So I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit! Fuck you, door! Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. All right. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Hmm. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? How can you not? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. 
I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. All right, now can I search for things? Like I couldn't before with Chloe not being here. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? That yeah, looks fucking cozy. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. Okay. I'm on the case. All right. Yeah. So that's what it is. I had a letter in, and now I can do the searching. Okay. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. What, Warren? So did you blow the lock? Oh, please. I just want to know if you knew your explosives. Okay. So we didn't really tell him. Why is it so dark over here? Can't you use your flashlight? Jeez. Alright. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. Kate's file. But I want to check these things. Yep, see, now you can check this. I certainly can't use this. Okay, never mind. I wonder if there's another light we can turn on to see those ones. I don't know. Okay, let's look at this. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. 3.9 GPA? What the fuck? The very best of the students at Blackwell. Her GPA is consistently outstanding. Um, she's also one of the best attendance records in the school. As a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, but vague, and refused to talk further with me. Keep your eyes on her. Er, um, update. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial controversial video alleging, allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party. See the attached files for complete details. Where's the attached files? Where? I want them. Oh, I Only took it. two more files to go. Oh. Okay. I didn't know I was actually taking shit. But I will. Wow, sir. This will so not come in handy. Okay. Oh, there's his whiskey bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. See, that's what I mean. That's why I think he had the, the files, because... The whiskey bottles. Or the whiskey glass. And nothing here. I don't see any red binders here, though. What is that? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Oh, it's Rachel. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. It repeated the same... You can't repeat past month twice. Damn it, that's not a nice sentence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Exactly why I think that Rachel Amber can control time. Everybody knows her. She's great at everything she does. She fucking can rewind time just like we can and go back in time and, and fix things. So she'll be the perfect student that everybody knows. And she has all the time in the world, basically. Um... Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that. We always hope for that one magic clue. But once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. What other secret? We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. All we can do for now. Spelling errors are atrocious. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Uh oh. Bad Chloe. 1.7 GPA? That's pretty shit. Problematic student. Best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Does little homework. Belligerent. Numerous class interruptions. Recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander, squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student Blackwell. See attached police records. Wow. Okay. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Of course. 3.7, that's pretty good. Stellar academic record, extracurricular activities, including work with the homeless fund. Popular. Really? Would they, would they put that in his file? Oh, he's popular. I think we found everything No, here. I want this. I should go join Chloe now. No, there was... That was... 
Like I'm not going to read my own personal oh, file. Oh, I could read my own things. 2.8. That's, eh, that's still not bad. Quiet, attentive student. GPA fluctuates. Knowledge she should be doing better. Quiet intelligence. Complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Um, despite some recent confrontations with Black Royal Security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof. I'm surprised that they keep these so well updated since that just happened. I was able to look at that file before, and now that I saw those files, I can't. It was available before. Am I crazy here? Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's that. Oh, shit. Like, I'm not going to read. This file is going oh. to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Extracurriculars. Devotion to the Vortex Club party. Okay. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0. Uh, gift of... The gift or curse of Gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher, Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Okay. Was there other things that I could see here? Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling no. Chloe. Bad Chloe. There's got to be a super secret file. Okay, let's look at this. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. In light of the recent outrageous... Uh, allegations against my son and his suspension. I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive with the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I mean, somebody just almost committed suicide, and you want to keep a party going? And that's suspicious. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. What a dick. What a fucking dick. Alright, so I can't really see those. I don't know why that... Oh, because I went back in time, so I didn't... So the light didn't stay on. What was that? I thought there was something up here. I'm seeing shit. I want to make sure I have everything in here. And I think I do, so... Oh, well, there's... No, there's more things. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Uh, as principal, it was my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you our petition to block the installation of new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the students to reject the plan. Um, however, I did recognize the contradictory nature of these and share your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Hmm. Okay. I... I don't know if that'll affect anything. You're not so tacky up close. What was she looking at there? Photo. Oh, cool. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> say goodnight to the bad guy. Chloe, like, it's such like a love-hate relationship with her. Sometimes she really pisses me off, the things that she does. Like, I feel like she abuses Max a little bit. But I don't think she means to. I think she's a good Max, person. you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus. What? And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Mm. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. I don't think that's it. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. What? Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. What the I know he has fuck? something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. 
No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. <laughs> Do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Uh. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. What's that? Hello, what have we here? What is that? Money? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha ching Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <clears throat> no, we're not gonna steal the money. I don't know what it's for. They said it was for the wheelchair fund, but I was thinking Nathan Prescott had some kind of fund in his files, but it was the homeless people fund. Just trying to see if it was his money trying to pay off the principal, but I don't know. No, we're leaving the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? That's fucked up. I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Indeed. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Alright. You should not leave any evidence. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Look. Dear Mrs. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Mr. Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th. Nathan has sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Enormous potential erratic behavior update expunged record. Hmm. We received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Wow, they really are pricks. I can't even read that shit. That picture is fucking scary as hell. Um... Following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cur cursing at his English teacher, lighting fireworks in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempting theft of campus to bang a statue. That's actually kind of funny. I'm trying to figure out what that looks like there's a lot of eyes in it a lot of eyes and like a cross i don't know that'll have to leave for another another time but all it is is rachel in the uh in the dark room right rachel in the dark room rachel in the dark room almost looks like a bird maybe Oh shit, did I miss something there? I did. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have come, both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen has followed her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her now. Man, I, I am I was, was like certain that David Madison was a good guy and there's a lot of there's a lot of things so far that would really say otherwise. Unless Rachel Amber isn't really that great, and he just mentioned that the company she kept recently So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Um Shocker. Said that the company that she was keeping wasn't good either, so 
Who knows? Okay, yep. Nothing here. Why are you so happy? That impish look scares me. Yeah. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. What? Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Apparently hella is a very common word to say in the West Coast. I found that out recently. But, uh, it's not an actual word. Why are we doing this? If I had the opportunity to actually say something, I'd say We're in no. the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. I want to be able to turn on my camera light myself, but I can't. Go otters. Go otters. This must be, like, mainly school for swim teams, I guess. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I mean, I'm a goofball and misplaced my Flexi Wave Swim Goggles. Ooh, a $25 Bean Hip Cafe gift card. Holy fuck. Totally emailing that guy later and seeing this legit. I hope the otters will survive. Probably not. Um, okay, so. Oh, there's an ad too. Gotta read everything. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Stolen backpack with school books, a new tablet. I need this for class, and my tablet has private pics of my late cat's IRP. So I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh god. Okay, so that's it. Right, 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 right. Yes. Boys or girls? Probably girls, because we are girls. Fuck, I have to make the decision. Can I go back in time and change this? Who do I think is... Girls' room would have, like, maybe Rachel Amber's locker, maybe Kate's locker. Boys would have Nathan Prescott. Who knows? Madsen, maybe. Let's go to boys. Boys, of course. Figures. Per. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Uh... Can we just kind of walk in ourselves here? Oh, okay. Yeah, if I can go back and see, that might be Nathan. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Oh. Logan? Oh, Logan. Okay, Dana's. I guess I should consider this evolution. Why would that be in his locker? Bro, don't like write things about other people and then just like forget them in your own locker. Sex me up. Boys locker room is right. Connection to the Wi-Fi has been lost. Oh no. Sometimes. I uh, don't think I have to worry about that really. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Oh, a cell phone. Who leaves that? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Eating ice cream. Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What a dirty fucking skank. What are you wearing? I'm in locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Ew. You're naked? You got no pants or boxers on, and you're sitting on a football. Dude, that's... Dude, you're you're gay, dude. I don't even think you realize that. Like, is it like pointed up the football or is it laying down? Cause it's pointed up. That's it's the first sign, buddy. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs. Drazepan, Risperidone, Risperidone. Uh, there's a lot of pills going on. I don't know. I'd have to look up what these mean. 
I don't know what those pills would be for. An e-cig. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Right? Everybody's into that shit. I don't really see the appeal of e-vaping or vaping. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. <sighs> but why? Why not? Dude, he is the fucking killer. It's all him. It is all Warren. Alright, we saw everything over there. We saw that. We saw Logan's locker. We s Wait. Oh, no. We saw the jacket. Okay, so we saw everything in here. Nope, no we did not. This must be for training kids. Okay. You can't run in here. Oh, the urinals. Wonderful. Victoria loves the D. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking with, the penis things. This was like my school, and look at that. You know what? They didn't they didn't put the little tip on it, but they did include the hair around the uh, the testicular region region. Isn't this supposed to be an art school? Like, come on. Just finish the dick. Huh, oh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. I also don't like urinals that do not have partitions between them. It's fucking weird. Max is a feminazi. Welcome to 1950. What is the, whoa, what is that? Ta-da! I've solved the case of the lost goggles. But I'm too busy now. What? No, we can take them? He needs those goggles. Gay Ram? Is that his last I name? I bet you do. That's a terrible last name. Not that there's anything wrong being gay, by the way, but I'm just saying. Dana needs a baby daddy. That totally looks like the, uh... Magusta face. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self righteous hypocrite. One or the other. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. What the fuck is that? What is that? Like a vacuum? Oh, showers. Yeah, something to do with showers. I was never really in a school where you gotta like shower 69 reasons. Bros will be bros. To bang Rachel. Yeah, I guess she's kind of good looking, so that makes sense, but. Somebody take that down. She's been missing, alright? It's, it's unnecessary. Okay, so we've seen everything in here. We've seen everything in there. Oh, damn. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. So this is the pool, right? So that means that we saw everything there is to see in the boys' locker room. So now we should go back in time and look at the women's room, right? Let's see if we can do that. Go splash. That's what that says. Okay. One thing that I noticed is that the rewind um, animation kind of looks like a, a vortex or a tornado. Interesting, right? Boys or girls? We are going for the girls now. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. You know. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Either way. Either way, you make fun of me. I can't win. Okay. Otters eat beavers. The wit. It burns. <laughs> There's a lot of gay jokes in here. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. No, they're not. That's a duck face, and she looks like a monkey. It's a monkey duck face. Alright, what else do we got here? Kate's locker, see? A bus ticket? What? Was she going to run away? 
Like Rachel Amber? What? 18 bucks. Expires on December 2013. Going to Portland. That is where all the hipsters go. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? You never know. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. Then steal it. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. One of the uh, big theories that I've heard is uh, we're just going to have to let Chloe die. Like, the whole reason that all these events like the tornado and things are happening is because we're affecting time and causing the butterfly effect every time we rewind time so we have to not rewind time and in order to do that we have to go all the way back to when we first rewound time to save Chloe from being shot by Nathan uh, the only problem with that is we can't rewind that far back but who knows we might be able to later looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren Brooke really likes him I feel bad. Where does that other sock go? Especially because she... Um, especially because Max doesn't really seem all that crazy interested in him. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. I, I feel like she's just toying with him. Friend-zoning the shit out of him. And I think Brooke really... Actually is interested. I don't know. I'm fucking reading way too much into that. Did I see Brooks? Did I already do that? Looks like Brooks oh, yes, wants to go to the drive-in. Oh my god, I was just talking about it. Okay. Toilet. This is a fancy toilet. They got like the sensors and shit. Graffiti. Well, we care, dickhead. She's very religious, Kate. I hope so, friend. What is that? Oh, Rachel abides. Why is there so much graffiti about? The very specific people that we are. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. We're watching here. Sorry, Rachel. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. I wonder if that'll come into play at all. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Snoop dog. Okay, yep, I think we found everything in there, so now we get to search around the pool area. Can I just jump in? No. Uh, where should I go? What the fuck is this? Oh, those are the little uh like the little partitions when you're doing the I don't know what you'd want to call it. Rally swimming. Yeah, those little dividers. They're like little lanes, I guess. End of the world. Don't touch. Don't touch. What the hell's going on with all this shit? Oh, is this where they're setting up for it, basically? Guest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions. Dec Looks like oh, I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. It. Remove names. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Ah, uh, it won't even let me know what names I removed. But whatever. Uh, I really wonder whether things like that are really gonna mess with everything. Can I? Can I dive? No. Pool noodles. The best noodles are pool noodles. Followed closely by ramen noodles. Okay. No running, no diving. I thought it said no drinking. Do not drink the water. Pool toy. Is it a shark? It is. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. <sighs> okay, is this... Is this the women's that we came from? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Lifeguard. What's this? In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Is that what that is? 
Oh, we haven't gone in here before. This is the lifeguard safeguard room. Cup. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Mm, probably not. I'm gonna get cramps. Yes, we get it. Otters. Yeah, we see that everywhere. So it's nothing new. Wait, what was that? Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Oh, I mean, there's a hole there and everything, so you could. Now I have the power over light and death. Oh, cool. It would be like a body in the pool. That'd be great. Oh, damn. Oh, she's got... She's fucking tatted up. Did you see that? So, the big plan is... Win. That is... Probably a... Waste of a dry erase board. Just saying. Seriously, you know? Come up... Come up with some more interesting shit. Okay, so... That's everything. I don't know if searching around now would be more beneficial... Yeah, see, does she got it? Does she got a dragon tattoo tat? Ah, I missed it. Let me in. Time to do or die, Max. What does she got here? Okay, well, if I, oh, she said do or dive. So should I dive? Oh wait, let's speak to Chloe. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Hmm. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Uh, this is, uh... Ah, uh, this is, Cowabunga. uh... Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. If there was any time to be a lesbian scene, it would be now. I'm just saying. I don't want it to happen, but I'm just saying. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> oh, damn. She looks so weird without her hat. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on... I'm starting to think everything is related, and I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? I don't you know. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Yeah. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Maybe. Uh, I wouldn't say absolutely. I don't know if she's gonna be pissed off by that. I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So, just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. Aww. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer? Warren... Uh, Warren is nice, I guess. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friendly. Exactly, that's what no, I said. No, really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. No. Now I'm getting cold in here. It's heated. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. 
I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Yeah, let's, let's call do it that. a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Okay. I find it interesting that Max always mentions that her power is going away. Like, I don't know how she knows that. But it must be true. It's not gonna be around forever. So I don't know. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. 